So from time to time we get people asking, you know, what does the inside of one of these nests look like? And here today I'm going to disassemble a yellow jacket nest that we pulled out of a shed yesterday. I also recorded the video of us doing that. You can check it out on my channel, The Bee Man. And so I'm going to open up this bag here and we're going to look at the nest. So whenever you open up, you can see we still have a couple of them moving around a little bit in there. You know, sometimes if they don't get the powder on them when they're inside there, they don't always die immediately. Sometimes it takes them a little while. But immediately, what you're seeing on the outside, we have this paper, and you can see the swirling pattern in the paper. Now, yellow jackets and hornets make their nest out of this paper. What they do is they chew up bark from trees or any woody, pulpy materials. Uh, sometimes I've seen them on really, really old decks outdoors where people don't paint them or stain them after a while. You'll see them on there chewing the wood up in order to make the paper for their nests. And what they do is they mix that wood pulp with their saliva and secrete it as a paper. So you'll see the various uh, color gradations in here. And that's because they get that paper that they're making from different sources. So they you know, kind of go along a line secreting this paper and then it dries into the nest here. Now these are uh, German yellow jackets. They have a little bit of a different color in paper to their nest than your common yellow jackets or your eastern yellow jackets. So I'm going to start pulling it apart. And here is their comb on the inside. Now this looks a lot like the comb from a honeybee colony, except that this is made out of paper, whereas honeybees make theirs out of a wax that they secrete from glands on their bellies. So it's still in the comb structure here and they build it in layers. So you're going to see this was pulled off of a layer down below. And what makes yellow jackets a lot different from something like a paper wasp is yellow jackets stack their layers of comb or they tear their comb in their nests and it looks like that. Now in here, this is where the queen was in laying eggs. So here, oh, we still see one crawling around there. These have hatched. These are capped over. They're getting ready to hatch. These are larvae, and they are in there. You'll see them wriggling around sometimes whenever you first open this. You still see one right there wriggling around. Um, you know, they pupate in there, and after a while, they kind of pierce through that white outer shell and emerge as a fully grown yellow jacket. So, yellow jackets don't pollinate. They don't store honey in these nests like you'll find out of a honeybee colony. Uh, they store, you know, they're scavengers, so they'll store bugs or, you know, any sort of organic matter um, to go along with their eggs. Uh, they'll also keep some water in there to keep the nest fully watered as well. And so, you know, just looking through it, that's really all it is to a yellow jacket nest, is you have these layers of, of uh, comb. And uh, what makes them different from a paper wasp is that, you know, yellow jackets will cover over their nest with this gray paper on the outside. Whereas a paper wasp, you'll see this comb just kind of hanging out on its own. Now, of course, paper wasps have much smaller nests. You only ever get a couple dozen, uh, at least in most strains. You do have some strains where you have a little bit larger nests. Whereas yellow jackets, you can get up to 5,000, at least up here in the north. If you're down Louisiana way, you know, they don't necessarily die off over the winter. You can get them with up to 100,000 down south if someone doesn't notice them for a lot of years. So, you can see in there we still have a couple that are alive from yesterday. And here you can see larger eggs. Those are going to be for drones. Those are the males. The only purpose of a male yellow jacket is to fertilize queens. It's a pretty good living as far as a bee goes. Um, but, uh, you know, because the females are all, you know, all the workers are female. They're the ones bringing food in, raising the young, tending to the nest, stuff like that. The males just kind of hang around and eat and fertilize the queens. And that's it. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always go on our website, www.thebeemanllc.com. From there, you can email us if you ever have any questions or go on our Facebook page and message, message us on there. If you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube page.
you, know, you can go browse some of the videos. We are trying to grow that channel, get some more videos like this on there, because uh, bees and yellow jackets are pretty interesting.